How's it going everyone, this is Tom, and this is the all new HTC One M8. Released a few days ago, this is the successor to the extremely popular and one of my favourite phones of 2013, the original HTC One, and that was actually the M7 model. Since I'm a little bit late picking this up, uh, there's already about a million unboxings already live on YouTube, I don't think I'll make you sit through taking it out and getting it all set up, I just thought I'd bring you my first impressions of using the phone for the past day or so. First off, this phone is built like a tank just like its predecessor, and I've pretty much fallen in love with the brush metallic finish that HTC is calling gunmetal. The original HTC One was one of the best built phones on the block, so it's really great to see them continuing down on this route. The phone is slightly more rounded than its last generation and includes less plastic and more aluminium, which is definitely the right route to take with it. I didn't think I'd like the rounded edges at first, but it definitely does feel better to hold in the hand. One of the bigger concerns with the original HTC One for a lot of people was the rather weird button placement. There was a big HTC logo in the middle, which kind of felt like it should have been the home button or something similar. This time we actually have on-the-screen software buttons, which is definitely an improvement in my opinion, but we still now have this kind of really weird HTC logo, which creates this big unnecessary bezel at the bottom of the screen, and kind of puts the whole position of the screen off-center. A new feature with the M8, and actually this is the first time we've ever seen this in a smartphone, is the new addition of the duo camera. This means that the HTC One has two cameras on the back, rather than one found in most smartphones. This actually allows you to refocus the images you take with the phone uh, through a kind of a software feature within the camera application after you've taken them. In practicality, I've found this to be a little bit gimmicky at this point. Hopefully that can be improved via software updates though. In terms of the camera UI and experience, it's really pretty solid and even allows us to manually change things like the ISO to help capture the perfect shot. One of my favourite features that the new one has is the inclusion of gestures whilst the phone is locked. Directly when your phone is locked, you can tap the display to wake it, which saves you from reaching up to the top of your phone to the sleep wake button, or just swipe up when your phone's in portrait to unlock the phone straight to your home screen. This is very simple and it's a solid implementation and it's really useful to kind of reduce the amount of times uh, you press the physical buttons that the phone has, as they're pretty much the first thing to go on a phone. And once you get used to it, it's just a really solid workflow. As you'd expect from a 2014 flagship smartphone, the HTC One M8 pretty much flies through Android 4.4.2 KitKat. It also runs HTC's new skin, HTC Sense 6.0. Uh, I've never really been a fan too much of HTC Sense, but this is definitely the best version yet. It's pretty clean and feels like an extension of Android as opposed to replacing it, which is one of the biggest gripes I have with uh, Samsung's touch with interface. The one tears through pretty much anything you throw at it, with that beautiful 1080p display and quad-core Snapdragon 801 chip, it handles gaming and general navigation like an absolute boss. Even things like scrolling and typing, which generally hinder on Android, are pretty flawless. So on first impressions, I'm very impressed with the M8. It doesn't feel like a totally new phone coming from the original HTC One, but that's a good thing. It's sleeker, faster, more impressive, but there's definitely a few things I'm sad about. For start, no wireless charging, uh, and the seemingly lacklustre camera once again, but that's definitely for another video. If you've enjoyed this video and made it to this point, I would really appreciate it if you did drop it a like. Lots more content coming up on this one, so if you would like to see anything specific, be sure to let me know. Be sure to subscribe if you want to be notified when I produce new videos on the M8 and other things, and I will catch you next time.